Hey. I'm Michael K. Williams, and you are watching Comedy Matters TV. Bow! Boom! <laughs>Michael, hey, I'm Jeffrey Gurian Pleasure, from Comedy Jeffrey. Matters TV. Good to meet you. How are you? you? Pleasure to meet you. I'm wonderful. First of all, I got to congratulate you. Chalky Wyatt was one of the best characters ever on television. Thank you. That's pretty That's kind of you. Thank you. No, it, was yeah. a, it must have been a very fun show to do. Can you tell me something well, about that? Was like, that was like my dream job, or well, at least one of them. You know, uh, the fact that it shot in my home, my home borough of Brooklyn. Um, I was very young still to the game you know i just come up the wire basically yes, yes. and uh i you know to be put around that level of talent i mean for marty you know scorsese yes. for those who don't know who i'm talking about i get to call him marty because i worked with him you know what i mean but to, from from working with marty to, to terry winter to, to to my brother steve buscemi and, and michael shannon michael pitt michael stuhlberg i mean it goes on and on and on at the, the you know jeffrey wright my sparring partner you know, uh, uh, the, um, the the everyone bought their A game, but most importantly, there were no egos. We all got along. It was literally a boys' club. You know, Gretchen Maul, she was like, she was like the first lady of the cast, and um, you know, we just had an amazing time doing good work um, with really with an amazing group of people. And was it like when you're doing a period piece like that? Is it weird when the, when, when like when the shoot ends? Do you still feel like you're in that time period? Uh, it, you know. You know, for me, my, my mind is so warped when when a show is coming to an end. That's five years of your life. That's five years of relationships that are, that's basically coming to an end. And so uh, I usually am grappling with a, a, a puffle of emotions that I tend to, they tend to, I, I get, I just be, I'm just, at that point, I'm just trying to get through the scene and get the shot without, you know, balling. I was wondering, being, being that it's set like in the 1930s. Yeah. And by the way, your your outfits were incredible. I know that that, that, that wardrobe has something to do with it, but you, you wore them so well. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But uh, you know, uh, you know, um, yeah, well, you know, the clothes definitely put me into a time a time machine. You 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 felt like you were in the period of that it was being shot in. You know, those people don't realize, but men's men's clothes was very specific. You know, like uh, for instance, men's socks didn't have elastic in them, so we had to use garters. You know, um, there was no button and we had to put a stud in the front and to attach the collar in the back suspenders everything there was no zippers everything was button fly so when you take that type of time to put on wardrobe it, it, it does something to you. you you walk a little differently you feel like you're in that era i mean it, you, you become part of that time absolutely absolutely so tell me about garden of dreams and garden of laughs because you're not a stand-up comic but you're here lending your support i'll tell you a little secret this is my first Garden of Laughs, and I'm really psyched to be here tonight. Um, you know, um, of course, Garden of Dreams, that's my family. You know, I do a lot of work with them, and um, and this is a community. You know, we're, we're like a family here. We are a family here. It's not just, you know, oh, we come together for the right reasons. This is a community. Everyone from New York City who's born and raised here that, that um, are, you know, whether in entertainment or not, that come back. We get to love on each other at events like this, and you know, I've known Tracy, you know, for a very long time. Tracy Morgan is a, He's a good friend of mine. Too. To see him at this level, I remember when he was performing in little holes in the walls in East Flatbush in my community in Brooklyn. So to see him reach to this level, knowing that he's from the same streets that I walked, is humbling. And I, you know, so and it's for a good cause. I see the I see the work that they're doing with the kids. You know, I see it firsthand. I have one in my life. Just recently, I met a young man by the name of Lawrence, who um, he has scars in his face, the same as I do. And, uh, you know, we talked about the You trauma. talk about that? Yes, we did. We, we, we met here in the garden, and we spoke about the trauma. And, you know, he's for the, I think for the first time in his 14 years, um, this just happened, I believe, eight months to him. I think for the first time, he saw someone who looked who he knew understood what he was feeling. You could relate to. Yeah, yes, that's sir. such a powerful thing. Yes, sir, I, I, for me as well. And it's courageous for you to discuss it with people, to talk about it, because many that's people- about here. He can't, I can't run from the scar on my face. It's there. It's, is it there from childhood? No, this was there because I was, you know, I got attacked. I got jumped on my 25th birthday. And this young man was also accosted by a group of uh, young boys and it resulted with a scar on his face. So there's trauma there that I understand. So he, he, he heals me 
and as we because we heal each other as I'm trying to say it's one very powerful story thank God they that's missed your eye go thank God thank God they missed my juggler really yes, but um yeah that's, that's a that's blessing why we, that's it's why we had the garden Absolutely. that's why we had the garden the dream it's all about the dream so good to meet you man so good, I'm so happy thank I wish you all the best Hey guys, thanks for watching Comedy Matters TV. To check out some of our other videos, click on the boxes on either side of me. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Not just for me, but for my parents.